Hello, Bart with the Bicycle Rider YouTube, and we have the Cirrus X 2.0 in dusty turquoise. Yes, this is the 2021. Most of you probably haven't seen this bike yet because it has been in a very short supply and high demand. So when they do hit the bicycle shop, they're usually gone very quick and for good reason. Uh, we are still in the uh, corona pandemic, so there's been a lot of people who want to get outside and ride their bikes. Uh, either new riders or riders that want to step up to the next level or also riders that uh, you know have high-end road bikes, triathletes, and mountain bikes that don't want to ride them out their front door. This bike, the Cirrus X, is your ticket to riding more. Riding more and riding in more places at a value. This is the 2.0, so this is uh, $650. For $650, you get a friggin' awesome bike that does a lot of things. Um, I am really happy about the Cirrus X lines. I've always been a fan of the Cirrus, uh, the Cirrus bikes. Um, traditionally, they were more of a road commuter bike, and they still are. They make some awesome bikes, and they zip around town super quick. But with the X line, they wanted to give you the, uh, the option to um, ride more places. And one of the reasons they, that they've done that or one of the ways they've done that is by putting, giving you a, a wider tire. So, uh, you know, this has got a nice aluminum rim set with a 700 by 42 millimeter wide tire. Um, this tire, compared to a traditional road bike or even the traditional Cirrus, is much wider. That means you can, uh, you know, lower the air pressure and get a comfortable ride. It does have an awesome Pathfinder tire. I love these tires. They have a, uh, even though it's a sizable tire, it gives you a slick middle. So uh, if you're going to be riding mainly road or something, you can pump this tire pressure up and ride basically on your middle strip here and it's very low rolling resistance, but it does give you bite on both ends. So uh, it's got some mini blocks here. Uh, you start going into a corner, start leaning into a corner, get off this smooth ridge and uh, the small bites start going to work. It will give you grip going into a corner, you hit some sand or something. Uh, if you do want to take this bike out on the gravel, um, it's got some thicker lugs on the end. So if, as you lean this bike over even further or lower the tire pressure, you know, you've got uh, plenty of biting surface, but yet it's a still a very, you know, very uh, efficient rolling tire. The frame has a, uh, a fitness geometry to it. And of course, Specialized has one up this uh, with, the, with the rake and trail with a long um, head tube lets you exercise your lungs instead of being cramped up like this. This bike lets you get out and roll. And it's got drop, uh, drop seat stays. So um, drop seat stays basically means that you have a little bit of flex here. It also gives you a very compact triangle which makes uh, shifting, make, makes your power transfer. It makes this bike super fun, super quick, super agile. Fantastic bike, bridge saddle. Um, this bike does have a eight speed advent micro shift derailleur. It is very intuitive. This, this, this bike switches gears very good. The advent derailleur kind of keeps the price down. Like I said, this is a $650 price point. So uh, you bike aficionados that are used to riding Dura Ace or something like that, this is not that type of gear shift. But for getting around town, for doing what this bike's designed to do, the Advent 8-speed works great. It does have a 42-tooth 42, uh, 42 big chain ring, so it can climb just about anything you want to do, and it's got an 11-speed uh, or 11-tooth in the back, so it will also go fast, and it does it at a very good price point. You know, it's just a rock-solid one-by in the front. Um, oh, you know, it's got, it's got a nice... A nice chain ring in the front, keeps it simple. You don't have to worry about having a, a front derailleur here getting in the way of tires, getting clogged up with sand, getting clogged up with uh, mud, having cables, wondering which gear shift to use. Um, super clean system, and for, like I said, for $650, you get a nice aluminum fork. Um, they don't put a suspension on this bike, and doing so, they've, they've kind of really uh, lowered the weight of this bike. You know. Uh, they put a suspension fork on this bike, it's going to maybe raise the, raise the weight about three pounds. So just nice and simple. Um, when we talk about the brakes, it's got a Promax uh, hydraulic brake system, front and rear. You get full hydraulic brakes, um, so you don't have a cable operated brake system. It's very smooth. It stops really well. Uh, 160 rotors front and back. This bike 
stops well. Uh, one nice thing about having a disc brake rather than a rim brake, if you do hit a curb and you get your rim a little bit out of true, you don't have to worry about your brakes rubbing on, uh, you know, on, the, on the rim or on the tire. All the braking, most of the time you're not going to bend a rotor, you're going to bend a rim. So most of the time, even with a bent rim, your rotor will still spin free inside your calipers. Um, just a really sweet bike. I do love the color of this bike. The dusty turquoise along with the rocket red and then the reflective specialized emblem. This bike is a really hot looking bike. And you know, here on the, you know, Bicycle Rider YouTube, we ask if you like our content to uh, you know, maybe like our, you know, give it a thumbs up or subscribe or both, even better. And that just lets YouTube you know, kind of rank us and let us, lets us buy stuff like this scale right here. So we can give real weights. Um, this bike is bouncing off of 27 pounds. Under 30 pounds, very manageable if you, uh, you know, have to take this bike up and down um, the stairs to get into the apartment or your house or, or whatever. It's a very you know, lightweight bike, manageable, but yet very sturdy. It can handle the, the, you know, the rough city roads. It can handle the gravel. This bike can take you a lot of places and do it efficiently. And at $650, you know, Specialized has, has spec this bike out really well to uh, you know, make a price point that's affordable for people. It's really nice. Uh, the Advent 8-speed does give you a, a gear indicator up here to let you know basically where your gear range is. And if you're you know, spending $650 on a bike, uh, you might be in the, the beginner category. You might be you know, uh, just testing the waters. And it's nice. You don't have to look down to see what, what gear range you're in. You know, as a uh, bicycle riding progresses, you get end up having you know, perceived and you can just kind of know where you're at. This tells you where you're at. So, you know, Specialized has done a great, great job with this bike. They are in limited um, quantities and they go very fast. Uh, here on the back of my shirt, you can see this is Biloxi Bicycle Works in Biloxi, Mississippi. And as soon as we put one of these bikes on the floor, they sell very quickly and for good reason. If you can get your hands on one of these, especially the 2021 model, don't think twice, don't think three times about it buy it. It's a rock solid bike, a good value, and you will be happy that you bought this bike. Bicycle Rider YouTube, Cirrus X 2.0. Thank you.